we started the company to say, if you could start over in food, what the hell would that look like? And in my lifetime, the world is going to go vegan. Would you pull the lever to save them? This is a nice way to be. That one fucking chicken. Fuck you to Sorsha Mareva. <laughs> Make sure that you include his mother in the lawsuit. Shit cunt. Welcome to another episode of the Top 10 Best Vegan YouTube Moments of the Week. Starting at number 10 with everyone's favourite powder monkey and snowboarding vegan, Pal Simeon, as he explains the full trifecta bro. I'm doing this for something greater than myself. And it benefits me at the same time. It's insane, bro. The perfect storm, man. Not only is the best for the animals, not only is the best for your health, it's the best for the planet, dude. It's the fucking trifecta, bro. That's why, bro. Simple as that, man. Each one of these reasons stands alone. I'm trying to think what it is like. What in life is like this? In snowboarding, it's fucking bright ass up there on the fucking glacier, bro. The sun's out, it's all white. I'm blinded by the light. Blinded by the light. And then, the innovation that you do to put something tinted over your eyes so that you're riding and you can, you're can you not blinded by the light, you realize, oh wait, not only does it shield my eyes from the light, now I can go so much faster and I'm not even crying anymore because my eyes are protected not only from the light, but also the air. And then, you get into the lift line and you're, you're wearing these, you pick up all the fucking chicks, bro. It's the fucking trifecta, brah. It's best for the animals, best for the planet, best for your own body. Every day, America consumes over 200 million eggs. But not only are they not a health food as they're advertised to be, the egg industry has done an impeccable job keeping us in the dark. But this is the truth that the egg industry does not want you to know. Hens in the egg industry today have been genetically manipulated and bred to lay 200 to 350 eggs per year. Naturally, in the wild, hens that have not been genetically manipulated will only lay about 12 to 13 eggs per year for the purpose of reproduction. Similar to how female mammals, including myself, have a reproductive cycle and ovulate about 12 times a year. For the girls out there, you could kind of compare what egg laying hens go through to what it would be like to be forced to have your period almost every single day of the year for aliens to eat on toast. And remember this guy from last week? Well, this week I'm gonna be eating roadkill, a rabbit. I'm a vegan, Madagascan, pissing cockroaches. What the hell? Get out of here! Uh, this is the, uh, the ten mice we've got. And then I found this frog floating in the spring. His eyes are opening now. Oh God, no! Oh! oh. Swallow it, man. What does it taste like? Chicken? Oh. <laughs> Fuck! And then I was just browsing Twitter and I saw that Ben um, tweeted that he was watching Cowspiracy. which is a, a documentary about the environmental impact of um, farming animals and eating animals. 
Do you think there should be any concern of us making this documentary? You better take that camera and throw it away. We just watched it. And I think it might be one of the most life-changing things I've ever watched. I've been an avid meat eater. And, uh, and although I love animals, and although I love animals, and although I love animals, watching that documentary has really made me question everything. It's eye-opening. His eyes are opening now. I, I'm scared, I'm scared to say I'm gonna go vegan. It's actually flipping scary. Wow, that was hard to, hard to swallow. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom. We, it look, made me look like a complete psycho. Good grief! <laughs> you need to talk to someone. Introducing this guy, TJ, aka the amazing atheist. A typical fat, conceited, illogical American. Yeah, the taste of death is sweet. Knowing that three different kinds of animals had to die to make this possible gives me a big old boner. If you're against religious indoctrination, then you should be against carnist indoctrination, which brainwashes people into thinking that it's acceptable to kill animals. Now, with all that said, I seriously doubt TJ's going to go vegan, and it's because he's a fat, lazy, selfish, judgmental asshole, fucking dumbass hypocrite. So, fuck you, TJ. But after Vegan Gains called him out, Richard was invited onto their wasted talk show, The Drunken Peasants. Guys, vegan motherfucking gains. I'm gonna ask you the question that's on everybody's mind right now. Um, but um, the thing is that, you know, the ethics just don't jive there. I understand that there are problems with uh, the conditions and there are environmental repercussions and all that stuff, but it still is a pleasurable activity, you know, and I'm descended from creatures that ate meat. That, that sounds like a bullshit you. excuse to me. And it became a great vegan PR event after internet shit weasel Mr. Repsion turned down the show. <laughs> only to be replaced by an atheist common enemy. I can see where you're coming from, but that's not well, the actual... That's, that's an issue too, because it's very hard to... It's obviously very hard to interpret God's message, because yeah. if, if the message was clear, then all Christians and... They'd all be vegan. So what... God doesn't make a very clear message for us all to follow? Like you're saying an all-powerful being wouldn't make things very clear and spelled out for everyone? I mean, I obviously don't have all the answers, but God gives us the uh, discernment of- Oh, can we hit oh, the- Oh, I don't have all the answers. Can we hit the Mario death music oh, no. again? Oh, no. Yes! Get fucked, Mario! Get fucked. This is going to be a moment of radical fucking honesty. I just watched a video of a bunch of fucking dickheads uh, restraining a bull trying to slit its throat, right? My emotional experience, I'm being honest here and I'm telling you that every time I see someone fucking with an animal, right? Every time I see someone abusing an animal or killing an animal or exploiting an animal, all I want to do in that moment is kick your fucking head in seriously kick their heads and stamp all over their heads kick them in the fucking face um stamp on their backs break their necks uh piss on their faces shit on their heads i'm not saying i'm going to i live by as much as i possibly can the non-aggression principle so i'm not going to go beating anyone up and i hope you understand why we get so fucking pissed off when we see people treating animals like shit because it's completely unnecessary right if i can live my life without eating animals and exploiting and hurting animals then you can too realistically when you have the example of someone who's living their life and perfectly healthy without exploiting and abusing and destroying animals what fucking excuse do you actually have i'm still waiting for a fucking reason i'm still waiting for you cunts to come up with a reason as to why you get to exploit animals and why you get to hurt animals same thing with child abuse just want to make it clear before the end of this video that I don't actually like feeling like this right it's not a nice feeling um, 
to be fucking enraged and disappointed at humanity's treatment of the innocent. And what am I really doing? I, I'm feeling violently towards these people. Is that really the fucking end of the world? My feelings. Can you believe he said that? Can you believe that he, that was his genuine emotional experience? And that he's been perfectly honest with people about it? <gasps> what an evil person. And you people wonder why the world is in the state it's in, right? You're all fine with people torturing, raping, exploiting, killing, enslaving animals. You're all fine with people abusing their fucking children. But you're not fine with people being honest about their emotional experience of those injustices. What the fuck, man? If you're a vegan too, you may have been asked questions such as, why are you concerned about animal rights when there is a civil war in Syria, when there is some humanitarian crisis or political crisis ongoing right now in the world? And these questions may be put to you in a kind of sneering, insincere way as a sort of veiled insult, but they may also be asked quite sincerely. Veganism may not be able to resolve the Syrian civil war. So what? Quitting smoking is not going to end the Syrian civil war. Maybe there are some wonderful examples of humanitarians who are smoking cigarettes and eating meat and helping refugees. They do a better job, they would have more positive impacts for themselves and for the world if they could quit smoking and if they could quit eating meat. So if you are saying that animal rights are a lower priority than human rights, then that means animal rights will never be addressed because there will never be a time when all human rights problems will be resolved and you can then turn to your second priority of animal rights. And even if you can't do everything, you can do something. You can do this. Veganism is an attainable goal. It's something you can do now. And at number four, the shareholders of the Tesla car meeting demanded an all-vegan product. Good afternoon and welcome to Tesla's 2015 annual stockholder meeting. Fellow shareholders, board members, and Mr. Musk, our planet faces unprecedented risks due to the dumping of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere and oceans. Mr. Musk has accurately called this the dumbest experiment ever, and we concur 100%. We feel it's morally irresponsible to be running a planetary scale experiment on our one and only planet. I suspect that the vast majority of our customers and even our shareholders have no idea the greatest source of greenhouse gases is actually animal agriculture, producing more greenhouse gases than all transportation combined. We encourage Tesla to apply its principles to the interiors of our cars. By using leather, Tesla is promoting the animal agriculture industry, the industry that's doing the most damage to lifeboat Earth. This is in direct conflict with Tesla's goal of reducing greenhouse gases, and frankly, it is un-Tesla. Tesla has two choices. Tesla can continue to fill cars with the skins of sentient beings that suffer unspeakable horror while adding massive amounts of greenhouse gases to the air, according to the UN and other sources. This is a fundamental truth of using animal skins. Or Tesla can adopt one of the many faux leather interiors that are cruelty-free. I think it's about what we want from the future and like what we were talking about today with the vegan interiors. I think that really resonated with me and it shows what people want from the future. To learn more about this developing story, check out the previously named Plant-Based News. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Klaus in the greenhouse. First up, there is a recent development of a Tesla car. There's a new vegan car to check. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Get on the floor! Fucking hell. Don't hurt me, mate. I'm fucking vegan. Fuck. What are you doing? Find out what happened next on the channel linked below. <laughs> Number three, and a massive channel BuzzFeed experimented on their yuppie employees with a vegan diet for 30 days. 
Starting tomorrow, the four of us will be vegans for the next 30 days. <laughs> what am I what are gonna do with tofu? I would probably suckle directly from a cow's teeth. I want to try a vegan diet maybe because that's that's the way of the future. I feel like this will be a good cleanse for my body. To say at the end of this that I will go vegan, very slim chances. Day one, Ryan already cheated All right. the nutritionist and get some advice because none of us know how to be good vegans. No longer happy when I'm hungry and that's kind of sad. Two weeks into being vegan and I feel pretty much the same. I'm constantly tired and I think it's because my body is lacking protein. Luckily, Mama Fruit Bat freely put out a reaction video that made their uneducated stupidity almost bearable. And let me tell you about ethically raised meat, that's just bullshit. The real vegans don't actually eat salad all day. Protein, which we don't have to give a fuck about. <laughs> the guy already had cream cheese. Their attitude really needs an adjustment, that's for sure. Testicles, tumors, eyeballs, assholes, all ground up into a little hot dog. I'm constantly tired and I think it's because my body is lacking protein. <laughs> no. No. It's been one week since our experiment ended. I feel pretty good. It definitely had its highs and lows, but overall I would say being a vegan wasn't terrible. Going into this, I didn't really know what being vegan was about as far as like why people do it, and now I understand why. It's fucked up all the stuff that we do to get the meat that we do. Reintroducing meat and dairy into my diet wasn't like the mind-blowing thing that I thought it was gonna be. You just learn how to eat right. Um, that feeling of feeling good feels so much better than like trying to be a certain size. Welcome to the channel, the Vegan Cheetah here for you. This will be my first trolling video at a grocery store. A little bit nervous and all to promote veganism. So at the end of the day, I think I'm doing a good thing. Folks, real quick, do you mind if I just ask you a question real quick? It's for a school project. I just want to get your opinion on something. Okay. Is that okay? Um, how do you feel about the unethical treatment of non-human animals every time you purchase meat and dairy products? Like, honestly, if somebody came up and asked you that, how, like, what would your response be? Just don't tell me. Just so, so you're just more I'm comfortable not about thinking about yeah. it? Do you feel like, as a consumer of meat and dairy products, do you think you have the I guess, responsibility to know exactly what it is you're supporting? Do you, I mean, do you I'm think- I'm not gonna change. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not I'm asking you to change. Go. I just want your, you know, see, I'm just trying to get your take on it, but. Um, is it my responsibility? No, it's not my responsibility to, to. May I ask you one more question? Sure. What if you, okay. What if you saw the documentary or something? If, I like, have seen documentaries. Okay. And that still hasn't like made you waver a little bit on your... You know what? I've eaten tofu before. I'll barf. Well, it's disgusting. I, you know, you I mean, I hear that. I'm, <laughs> I'm not it's asking you to eat tofu. Mean, and, I mean, how else would everybody eat tofu? That's expensive stuff. I, well, People cannot afford that stuff. Well, he's the one that eats the tofu. Yeah. I actually eat a lot of... I eat a lot of pastas, grains, fruits and vegetables as well, but... Um, you and do like a paleo. Well, see, I don't. I know. I, I don't. Do, I don't eat pasta. Yeah. Why not? You don't like carbs. Right. You're and afraid of carbs. No, I'm not afraid of them. I just don't. They make my. I, it's more like. A um. No, it's all right. Uh, all I would do is encourage you Bananas to just think about bad. going vegan. Okay. Let's um. Found somebody else. May I ask what you're buying? Uh, buying some bread. Okay. Um, <clears throat> do you happen to be aware of the uh, the um, the violent oppression and exploitation against non-human animals that you're supporting every time you buy products like these? Uh, I don't support that. You don't support that? Nope, I don't. Okay. Well, do you understand by consuming meat and dairy products, you are financially supporting with your dollar rape, torture, exploitation, and murder of hundreds of billions of animals every single year? I know it does happen, but. Um are you okay I with do, that, would no, you say? I'm not. You're not? So I buy cage free eggs and I try to buy um, meat that does not have hormones in it and that is all natural and that's, that's the best I can do. Well, what do you feel about the commodification of non human animals exploiting their bodies to create products um, you know, that are derived by very, very violent Sorry. means? Um, I can't have you yeah. in the store. I don't support it. You, you don't support it? No, I don't. But, but you still. Like can... Yeah, I'm going to eat. Sorry. 
I've had several complaints from customers, so. Yeah. Have you ever heard of veganism? No? All right, I'm gonna turn, turn off the camera. Off the camera though, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So who's number one this week? from Bite Size Vegan and welcome to another vegan nugget. Emily takes it with this thoroughly researched documentary smackdown on the corrupt egg industry. When you think about it, it's incredible the number of things you can do with eggs. Hats off to you, American Egg Board. Way to step around those cholesterol-laden minds and give the American public what they want. A celebrity pimping a food the public loves which has been shown time and again to contribute to our nation's number one killer. Way to tell the good public how healthy they are being by continuing to consume your misunderstood gem of a product. Seeing as how you've paid professors, scientists, and executives to manipulate and misrepresent facts and spent billions on fierce advertising campaigns backed by thoroughly disproved science, it really makes sense to step it up to a high-name celebrity who, I'm sure, performed for a nominal fee. Government-regulated money, hard at work. Though, to your credit this time, you did use it to promote eggs, as is your mission, rather than fund illegal attacks on competitors or corrupt studies based on junk science. Way to go. Really. Believe it or not, this video is but a peek into the underbelly of the food industry in America. The meat, dairy, and egg industries have enormous sway in our government, our dietary guidelines, school nutrition education, and so many other far-reaching facets of our society. That's it for this week. Like, share, subscribe, and do check out the links to see what happened on the final ever plant-based news as Klaus <coughs> updates his channel for the greater good. What fucking excuse do you actually have? You know, maybe I'll find some uh, more ethically raised meat. Whatever that means. Assholes. <laughs> From Earth to infinity. Fuck you, TJ. It felt really good. Go vegan, be vegan. Get the truth out there. Because as Dr. Seuss said, Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. And I will talk to you guys next time. Fucking hell! Don't hurt me, man. I'm fucking vegan. Fuck! We do.